So today we're going to learn how to prepare our file for um, the laser cutter project. The first thing we need to do is to go to the left menu and click on this tool here, which is the artboard tool, and make sure our design is the correct sizes for our project. So up here, the width should be 22.8 centimeters. Um, that could be 228 millimeters. Um, or 17.7 centimeters. So if that's correct, then click your black arrow. Now we want to create a bigger border around the edge of our design because we found that um, that's an adjustment that we need to make. So we need to ensure we can see our rulers. We're going to go to view, scroll down to rulers and make sure the show ruler icon is selected, which you'll find here. Then we're going to just zoom in a little bit and I'm going to start by clicking the vertical ruler and clicking and dragging a ruler across and laying it at the two centimeter mark, which I can tell from my dimension at the very top. I'll do that for the top ruler, dragging it down to make sure I've got a two centimeter border there. I can scroll across to the right hand side, click and drag your ruler across. So. This was 22.8, so we're looking at 20.8 um, as best you can find. Okay, and the bottom, the width was 17.7, so we're looking at 15.7, which is about here. Okay, and then I can zoom out and I can see the space now where we want to put our design. So you have two options. You can either click the motifs on the outer edge. You might need to ungroup them by going right click um, group or ungroup. You can either delete them individually. So you delete part of your design. Alternatively, um, you could highlight all of it. But when we do that, we highlight the guides. So actually if before that, we need to go to view, scroll down to guides and click lock. So nothing interferes with them. So the second option would be to highlight your design, hold shift and resize it within the box that we have created. Now the issue with this, um, it may work for some designs, but it could mean that some of these shapes are now too close together. So you need to figure out which option will suit your design best. Um, this one will work here. Okay, then we need to make sure I can see um, outlines rather than filled shapes. So I click over my whole design and just make sure my black stroke is selected with no fill. So it might look like this at this point. So just ensure black stroke selected, no fill. And I just want you to randomly select some motifs and make sure all the paths are closed. So it's a closed shape. There's no kind of openings at the end of the shape. That's really important. The other thing, like I mentioned before, is we want to make sure that the gaps between shapes are at least three millimeters, okay? Because if we cut them out of fabric and they're too close, the fabric can be very fragile and our design could break. Okay, the next part, um, just to make sure is that we have a box around our whole design. So we will cut um, our whole design um, with the rectangle that we've created. So I need you to go to the rectangle tool just here, click and create a box around the design. Make sure it's black stroke, no fill. Once your design has been edited in this way, we want to go to file, you'll save and make sure you have saved it as an illustrator file. And then we will repeat that process and go to file, export, export as, and we're going to change it here to this file format, DXF, okay? We're going to call it, um, put your name there, 
Lynn um, underscore your surname underscore final pouch design. Okay. Um, save it in your subject folder. We're going to go export. Click OK. <clears throat> and then you're going to upload your submission digitally. And that's it.